How's it going everybody? Here I have a quick little review video of a Terra Amps Base AK. Uh, this is a 1.0 model. Uh, so let's get right into it. Uh, so like all your Terra Amps, you will have your box it comes in, your seal from the factory, as well as the amp will be shrink wrapped to the whole nine yards. Uh, I already ripped all that off. And then almost all of them, they do have the power section taped like you see here. Uh, this is going on to a customer. Uh, so like I said, this is the base AK. So this is the base version meant for subs. Unlike your MDs you can use on subs or your mids. Uh, but this one, the base versions are only meant for subs. Uh, so it's kind of going right into it. Let me take you to your power side. So on your power side, you do ha have, looks to be oversized oh there we go right there uh i was gonna say two gauge uh, so you do have two gauge power in and power out on this side uh they are a little bit deeper than your normal amps i do know uh and then also i mean you can see there you do have the little plastic lip uh, so do take that into consideration if you're using like input adapters i know online i seen jim machine works i believe his name is makes the long post adapters i think they're called exactly that uh to make up basically for that uh, but that is the power side let me flip this on over flipping it over to the other side you do have your speakers taped on this side your positive your negative I'm gonna leave these tapes for the customer uh, kind of going over everything you do have your traditional RCA's on this side your gain, your subsonic goes from 80 hertz to 30 hertz. Your low pass filter from 60 to 250 hertz. And then your frequency boost and your bass boost. Uh, so I'll kind of explain those real quick. Uh, so most, almost all amplifiers nowadays have your bass boost on there, uh, which we know how that works. That basically boosts everything, the, whole, the entire signal coming through your amp across the board going to your subs. Now with Terra amps on almost all their amplifiers, uh, plus and minus a few, like they're some of their four channels and such uh, they do have your frequency boost on there so you see on your frequency boost you do have your from 35 to 60 hertz so say for example i put that somewhere in the middle and it's 50 hertz somewhere around there now that's going to boost that particular hertz so say in the middle is 50 hertz for an example it's going to boost 50 hertz and around there uh, so that's the biggest difference with the the frequency boost and the bass boost uh, so you do have your your clip light monitor which is you know, like almost your phone cord uh, all from the three k's and above do come with them kind of going over this it simply plugs in and you run this there we go so you'd run this all the way to the front you do have your on light your clip light and protect light just like you see on oops just like you see on the front of your amp itself your on light your clip light and your protect light uh, now the 5k also has it i have one sitting here on my test bench uh, and then the 3k has it and a bunch of other amps have it once you go to like the base 1200 you really only have an on light and then a protect light or even an on light i know they change right about when you start going down the line from there uh, but from the 3k's and above they all have that and like i said this is the base version so you can only use it on subs uh, so so now I'm going to read some specs right off their website. I have terraamps.com. Uh, so like I said, this is the base version. So the base versions are rated at 14.4 volts. Uh, so at 1 ohm, you will get 8,000 watts RMS. The, the base versions are half ohm stable up to, I think, the 3K. Uh, the 3K is half ohm stable. And anything anything below uh, the 3K is really not recommended half, uh, half ohm. But going here, this will at one ohm at 14.4 volts, it will make 8,000 watts, as well as at two ohm, it will make 5,120 watts RMS at 14.4 volts. Uh, but kind of going through the rest of this here, we kind of all went over. Uh, so basically, this amp sitting still, not playing anything through it, will use, as we see here, consumption at rest, 1.8 amps of an amp draw. Uh, and then absolute, while this is running, uh, the max playing music, the maximum amount of amps this thing will pull uh, would be 608, <coughs> excuse me, 
would be 838 amps of an amp draw and then kind of going down to here this is a 14 pound 14 and a half pound amp uh, and then here is your dimensions but that is it uh, and then like always you do have your plastic on here you see all the little ripples on there uh, but this is the bait terra amp space ak uh, quick little review uh, if you have any questions please shoot me a message i try to do my best to answer them on youtube uh, but <clears throat> Excuse me. I try to do my best on YouTube to answer them, uh, but I always answer Facebook and Instagram. Uh, all my info is down below. Uh, I am a dealer for Terran Amps, Resilient Sounds, and Sky High Car Audio here in Twinsburg, Ohio. Please shoot me a message. I'd be more than happy to help you or just simply answer a question. Uh, any questions, send me a message. Thanks. Bye.